think we've been talking a lot about you know, not using just weight. And people do get, yeah. there can be too much data, right? So people right. who are weighing themselves maybe too frequently. Right. Um, I do like the idea of using other other numbers in that sort of equation and mm -hmm. not overdoing it because then you're just chasing all the, you know, then you focus too much on these numbers going up and down. So, you right. know, I think measuring at a regular interval or if you've seen a, a significant change in weight um, that would lead you to do another body composition assessment. I think that would be important to, to talk with folks about. Yeah, and I think the other thing nice about bioimpedance, right, that isn't available in some of our other um, methods is the water content, right? Like I had a patient and she, you know, fully recognized she is not drinking enough water. And people a lot of times will say that, right? Mm -hmm. But when I showed her that on her, that her water was actually low, <laughs> right? And that she was actually, you know, needs to drink more water, that like, somehow motivated her right even though she knows that she's only drinking you know two of these eight ounce bottles a day yeah right and it, you know but somehow having a number in front of her was like she was gonna be on a mission and then they can track it and mm -hmm. being able to see that over time i think is nice too